The five the five minds are something that I believe can continue to be developed even after they're mastered. The last unit of this class made me look into global project-based learning as a way to help further develop my students' five minds. And by implementing this type of teaching, each of the five minds is touched on so they are further developed. The disciplined mind is one of the hardest to develop in my opinion. It requires students to want to learn. so. We're looking at, at intrinsic motivation. In order to do this, I hope to create learners that learn information in a variety of ways and are able to create projects based on their own personal understanding of a topic. By using online project-based learning, students are consistently engaged in guiding their own learning. It requires a lot of intrinsic motivation to move the project forward and continuously ask questions and get answers. Students are asking questions and creating ideas that show their ans their understanding of topics. They can do this by creating blog posts, digital stories, podcasts, or even flyers. That's the beauty of the synthesizing mind. Students take the information that they learned and create their own interpretation of what they've learned. The last two minds that can be developed through project-based learning are the respectful and the ethical minds. Students would need to respect their peers when responding to posts and answering questions. To help develop ethical minds, students would need to gain a little background knowledge on the students they're interacting with, since many of these students are um, not in the United States. It's a global effort to help each other learn. In a globalized world, students have to realize that opinions differ due to religious or cultural differences, and they need to know how to respect these differences. It's my hope that through project-based learning, students will be able to continue to develop, to develop their five minds of the future.